The if function is one of the most commonly used in Excel, but some of its uses seem to be unknown to many. The if function can be used to test for a single as well as multiple conditions for complex logic. Using this function, we can control the execution of Excel tasks and this is great because we can use it with flexibility. It enables us to set certain logical tests and conditions based on the actual need. The simple guide for this formula is first, set a logical test. Next, give instruction on what to do or display if the test is true. In this video, let us try the if formula with a single condition, two conditions, and multiple conditions. The if Excel function. For our first example, let us consider the if formula that tests a single condition. We have here a summary of sales amount per person. Let us use the if function to set a single condition, which is to indicate low if the sales amount is less than or equal to 25,000. So let's type the equal sign, if, and tab. Click the sales amount in cell B5. Given that we need to classify sales up to 25,000 as low, our logical test is B5 is less than or equal to 25,000, comma, and input the desired value to appear if the logical test is true, which is low, and enclose in quotation marks. Copy it down. By default, Excel will display false if the test does not pass the single condition indicated in the formula. Take a closer look at the formula. We can visualize that as if followed by the logical test, then the value if true. That's for the if with single condition. Now let's try to set two conditions. Using the same data, let us indicate the formula equal sign, then if tab, then go to the cell again as reference for the logical test. B5 is less than or equal to 25,000. Our first condition is to indicate low if the logical test is true, just like what we did earlier. But this time, let's add a second condition, which is to indicate high if the logical test is false. Copy it down. So, instead of displaying false if the test is not true, Excel will display high. To summarize, our classification would be low if the sales amount is 25000 or lower, and high if it's above 25000 Look at the formula again. And we can visualize that as if, then logical test, then value 1 if true, or else value 2. Now let's have an example of the if formula with multiple conditions. Going back to this table, let us classify the sales amounts into not just low and high, but this time make it four classifications. Low, average, high, and outstanding. Begin with the equal sign, if, and tab. Then go to the reference for the logical test, then indicate the first test which is B5 is less than or equal to 25,000. If this is true, display low. This is the first condition. If false, move to the second condition which is B5 is less than or equal to 30,000. And if true, display average. 
If false, move to set the third condition, which is, if B5 is less than or equal to 35,000, display high. At this point, we have three conditions. For the last condition, it should cover all the remaining amounts and classify them as outstanding. This time, we have a total of four conditions. Let's review the formula. Take note that commas are used to separate conditions in the IF formula. The open parenthesis opens all IF functions while the close parenthesis is used to close all IFs at the end of the formula. The number of open parentheses should equal to that of the close parentheses. In this case, we have 1, 2, 3 open parentheses, so we also have 3 close parentheses. And with this Excel formula, it is important to note that we have to move in one direction, either from low to high or from high to low. We can visualize the if formula with multiple conditions this way. If, then test 1, then value 1. If, test 2, then value 2. Then if, test 3, then value 3. If all conditions are not met, then use value 4. This Excel formula with multiple if conditions is known as the nested if statement or nested ifs. Let's look at the formula again. It's called nested because we're putting an if statement inside another if statement to handle multiple conditions. This process can be repeated multiple times. The overall concept of a nested if statement is actually simple, but the process is long so it looks somewhat difficult. If you really find the nested if formula complicated, you can check another approach to do this. Watch out for my next video. It's about an Excel function that is specifically designed to do multiple conditions. The if function is very useful and it can apply to a wide range of logical tests. And the basic concept is as simple as setting a logical test and defining what to do if true and what to do if false. We can also go to the formula bar and find if. Let's use it for another example which shows the product, the volume sold, and the corresponding revenue. Say we want to get the selling price per unit, so let's divide the revenue by the volume. But if the volume is zero, the result will be an error. If you don't want this error to appear in your spreadsheet, you can eliminate it by using the if function in the formula bar. Choose if, then input the logical test which is volume in column B equals 0. If true, let Excel display 0. And if false, do the formula revenue divided by the volume.